This here's gonna be a piece of cake. All we gotta do is spend an hour at the party, find the safe, empty it, and leave. A party? How many people are gonna be there? Whose place is it? What's the parking situation? What are they serving? Should I eat first, and what should I wear? Yeah, these are all legitimate questions. I don't know what to wear either. And I've got all the answers for you. It's a friend of a friend of a friend's place. I don't know them, but they're filthy rich. It'll be about 45 to 60 people. Parking's on the street, but we'll take my car, so you don't have to worry about that. It's a casual affair. They're serving finger food, so if you wanna eat beforehand, it's up to you. Okay, sounds good. Should I bring Lucille with me? Lucille? Yeah, Lucille. No, this is gonna be a clean operation. No screw-ups like last time. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know that old lady was coming to clean the place. Well, it was a good thing it was her first night on the job. I convinced her that you thought she was a burglar. Yeah, thanks, Fingers. Luckily, I look like the guy in all those pictures in that office. She didn't know the difference. So what time should we meet at your place? You mean the hideout. Oh, right. Sorry. What's the matter? You don't like that I call my home the hideout? Well, it's not that. It's just easier to say your place instead of the hideout. Is that right? How so? Well, it's one less syllable. And why do you talk like that? You're from Arizona. Fine, you want to be boring and call it my place, go right ahead. I like old gangster movies and they always call it the hideout. And I like the way I talk. Makes me sound authoritative. In an old gangster movie kind of way, yeah. Okay, we'll call it the hideout. Okay, so the party starts at 7.30. Be at the hideout at 8. We'll get there about 45 minutes in. Get in and get out before anybody starts to leave. When we get there, we'll get some munchies, then split up and each take a part of the house. Dibs on the master bedroom, bathrooms, and kitchen. I'll take the other bedrooms and the den. How come I always get stuck with the living room or the garage? People rarely put their secret saves in those locations. It's usually in a bedroom closet or behind a painting in an office or a library. You watch too many crime dramas. He's right, though. That's where we found most all the other saves we've robbed. Oh, yeah. Well, what about any other rooms? Our point man is on it. He's helping us from the inside. Name's Vinny. We're his cousins from Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan? What kind of accent do we have to use? I don't know. Just throw in some of boots now and then you'll be fine you trust this guy he must be an extrovert if he's spending all this time at this party well yeah but i've known him for years i trust him okay then see you at eight o'clock at the hideout i feel so stupid saying that huh oh nothing remember the first one who empties the safe text me and i'll find you and if you get in trouble sing take me out to the ball game that old song well that's just it how many people here tonight would be singing that it'll stand out besides it's the last resort one of us will come find you if we hear you singing it otherwise we meet back out here in an hour got it huh? Nothing. Wow. Nice bidet. <laughs> Nothing. Probably in a bedroom closet. Yeah, it was unfreaking believable. I told my sister she better dump that guy, you know? I mean, who does that, am I right? I would never put up with behavior like that. It was appalling. You know what I mean? I mean, my gosh. I'm sorry, I've just been talking your ear off. I don't even know your name. Hi, ladies. Good idea hiding out in the kitchen. The selection of men at this party tonight. Right? I was just telling her. Oh, sorry, ladies. I've got to go. Bye. What's he doing? It's been an hour and a half. We've got the loot. I don't know. Maybe he got stuck. He hasn't texted me. I haven't heard him singing. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I ever get back. Happy birthday, dear Willie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! Can you believe it? My friend Vinny here threw the surprise party for me. <laughs> Do you know it was his birthday? I had no idea.